chapter 18. Masik's coming. Someone's coming, anyway. Yeah, it's him. Funny. He's got two other ships with him. Two other ships? Take a look. You suppose he's brought some guests? He didn't say anything about guests when he checked in with Apes a few minutes ago. Maybe you'd better check. Maybe I'd better. What's that about Mazik? I said Mazik was coming. Good. About time. Finally get this meeting going. I thought you didn't want him here. I didn't. Apparently the feeling wasn't universal. You mean someone else invited him? Who? I don't know. I haven't found a way to ask around without looking either petty, suspicious, or overbearing. Anyway, it's probably quite innocent. Someone assuming that all those at the original Trogan meeting should continue to be involved. Guard? This is Torv. Could you step downstairs a minute? Certainly. Should I bring anyone? No need. We're not having a party or anything here. Understood. I'll be right there. Trouble? We've got an intruder. Do me a favor and keep an eye on things here. Sure. Anyone in particular I should watch? Make sure Farrier doesn't leave. Report. We think someone's in there. Jin was taking the Vornskers for a walk around the ship and saw something moving in the shadows along the south wall. Anyone currently aboard the ship? Lactin was working on the secondary command console. Aves told him to sit tight on the bridge with his blaster pointed at the door until we got someone else there. Jin grabbed some of the Etherway people who were hanging around and started searching through the south end rooms. Dankin is doing the same with the north end ones. That leaves the ship for us, then. You two will stay here and guard the doors. Nice and easy. Let's go. Duncan, Jin, this is Card. We're coming in around the starboard side of the ship and heading for the entryway. Be ready to give us cover fire if we need it. We're ready, Captain. They search the ship, the banquet chamber and all the offices and storerooms on the periphery. And in the end, they found no one. I must have imagined it. Sorry, Captain. Truly sorry. Don't worry about it. We all misread things sometimes. If this was, in fact, a misreading. Torv, you're certain you and Lacton covered the entire ship? Every cubic meter of it. If anyone sneaked into the wild card, he was out long before we got here. Well, whoever was here seems to be gone now. Still, we may have driven him off before he finished whatever it was he came to do. Torv, I want you to set up a guard detail for the area. Have Aves alert the duty personnel aboard the Starry Ice and Etherway as well. Right. What about our guests upstairs? Should we warn them too? What are we, their mothers? <laughs> They're big boys. They can look out for themselves. Lactum, as soon as Corvus gets here with those scanners, I want the two of you to run a complete check of the ship, starting with the exterior hull. Our visitor may have left us a gift, and I don't want to fly out of here with a homing beacon or timed concussion bomb aboard somewhere. I'll be up in the conference area if you need me. Card paused in the arched entrance. A quiet warning alarm going off in the back of his head. For Masik to bring a pair of fighting ships to protect him en route was one thing. To bring a full squad of enforcers into a friendly meeting was something else entirely. Either the Imperial attack on Trogan had made him uncharacteristically nervous, or else he wasn't planning for the meeting to remain quite so friendly. Hey, card! Come on, let's get this meeting out of the bay. 
Certainly. Good afternoon, Mazik. Thank you for coming. No problem. We have more comfortable seats prepared in a room back this way. If you'd all care to follow me, I have a better idea. What do you say we hold this meeting inside the wild card? May I ask why? Are you suggesting you have something to hide? Of course I have things to hide. So does Parta, so does Elor, so do you. We're business competitors, after all. So you won't allow us aboard the wild card? The wild card is berthed down below. If you'd care to follow me. Hello, Captain. Can we help you? No help needed. We've decided to hold the meeting aboard ship, that's all. Aboard ship? Please, step aside. We have business to attend to. Right, I understand that. Problem is, we got a scanning crew aboard right now. It'll foul up the readings if we get more people coming and going. So foul them up. Nice try, Card. But it won't work. Call them off. Now. I won't surrender my people to you. Not without a fight. I have no interest in your people. Or your ship. Or your organization. This is a personal matter between you and me. And our fellow smugglers. There's not enough room in the wardroom for anyone but the eight of us. All aides, bodyguards, and your enforcers will have to stay out here. Will you order them to leave my people alone? As long as they're not provoked, they won't bother anyone. I want your data cards. All of them. We'll start with the ones in your office. Through the door and down the corridor to the right. Elor, go get them. And bring a couple of data pads back with you. Shada, get his blaster. Card, after you. While we're waiting, perhaps I could present the proposal I invited you to Hijarna to hear. <laughs> You've got guts, Card. I'll give you that. Guts and style. Let's just sit quiet for now, okay? Okay. Give one of the data pads to Partala and start going through them. You both know what to look for. I must acknowledge at the beginning that I do not like this. I agree. Your fight openly against a competitor is part of business. But this is different. This isn't about business. Of course not. Would you mind at least telling me what it is I've allegedly done? Yeah, I want to hear it too. It's very simple. That attack on Trogan... The one where my friend Lishma was killed? Appears to have been staged. Someone hired an Imperial Lieutenant and his squad to attack us. Who said so? The most knowledgeable source there is. Grand Admiral Thrawn. They picked me up poking around Joyal system and took me to the Chimera. After the incident at the Bilbringi shipyards, I thought I was in for a rough time. But Thrawn told me he just pulled me in to clear the air. That no one in the Empire had ordered the Trogan attack, and that I shouldn't hold them responsible for it. And then he let me go. Having conveniently implied that I was the one you should hold responsible? He didn't finger you specifically. But who else had anything to gain by getting us mad at the Empire? We're talking a Grand Admiral here, Mazik. A Grand Admiral who delights in leisurely and convoluted strategies, and who has a personal interest in destroying me. I'm not just taking Thrawn's word for this card. I had a friend do a little digging through Imperial military records before I came here. He got me the complete details of the Trogan arrangement. But if we find the other end of the deal here, I'd say that would be hard evidence. I see... I suppose it's too late to mention that we had an intruder down here a few minutes before you arrived. <laughs> All right. Nice try, Card. But a little late. A little late for what? He's trying to throw suspicion on someone else, that's all. 
trying to make you think one of us planted that data card on him. What data card? We haven't found any data card. Yes, we have. Wait a second. Card's right about that intruder. I was with him upstairs when the alert came through. What about it, Card? What did you see? I didn't notice all that many places out there where anyone could hide. A human couldn't, no. On the other hand, it didn't occur to us at the time just how many shadows there were along the walls and near the doors. Meaning you think it was my wraith, huh? That's typical, Card. Fire off a few hints and try to fog the issue. Well, forget it. It won't work. He's right, Card. Stop trying to fog the issue. You think Thrawn would go to all this effort just to take you down? He could have done that straight out of Trogan. I don't think he ordered the Trogan attack, either. I think someone else planned that raid, and that Thrawn's simply making the best use of it he can. I suppose you're going to try and put that one on me, too. There he goes, fogging things again. Y you already practically flat-out accused my wraith of planting that data card in here. That was your suggestion, not mine. But since we're on the subject, where is your defo? He's on my ship. Why isn't he outside the wild card with the rest of the bodyguards? Who said he was a bodyguard? I simply assumed he was. He was playing that role on Trogan, after all. Twist all the words you want. But that data card doesn't say I hired Kosk and his squad. It says you did. Personally, I think we've heard enough of this. Just a minute. How do you know what the data card says? You told us. You said it was the other half of the... I never mentioned the lieutenant's name. This is insane. All the evidence points straight to Card, and you're going to let him off just because I happen to hear this Kosk's name somewhere? Maybe one of the stormtroopers on Trogan shouted it during the fight. How should I know? Well then, here's an easier question. Tell us how you learned the time and location of this meeting, given your lack of an invitation. I don't have to sit here and listen to this. He's the one who... Watch out! All right. Hands on the table. Drop it, Mazik. You can't possibly get out of here, Feria. It'll be a toss-up between Shada and my enforcers. They'll never even get a shot at me. Wraith, get in here. Come on, card. We're going to the bridge. You're flying. Where are we going? Out, up, and over. What? You afraid I'll steal your precious freighter? I'll destroy it first. Relax. You're not going to have to be a hero. No. All you're going to do is take me back to my ship. This is Card. You can unbarricade the door now. Farrier's left. Do you need any medical help or assistance with your prisoner? No to both. Defel might be good at sneaking around, but they're not much good as jailers. So Farrier just abandoned him here, huh? No more or less than I would have expected from him. He's lifting now. Warn everyone not to leave the ship. He's bound to have something planned to discourage pursuit. A corner net. Typical ship thief trick. He must not be allowed to escape. He won't. The Etherway and Starry Ice are standing ready, north and south of here. But under the circumstances, I think Mazik should have the honor. Thank you. Griv, Amber, gunship on the way. Take it. I guess I owe you an apology. 
Keep it as a reminder of the way Grand Admiral Thrawn does business, and what people like us ultimately mean to him. Don't worry. I won't forget. Good. Well then, let's get our people out there busy on this net. I'm sure we'd all prefer to be off Hijarna before the Empire realizes their scheme has failed. And while we're waiting, I still have a proposal to present to you. Thank <sighs> you.